Hi, everybody. I'm Sophie, and welcome to my world. Well, it's almost Halloween, so I thought it would be really fun to make something cool and creepy that you could decorate your house with. And that is this itsy bitsy, creepy crawly spider who actually climbs up the wall. So I'm going to teach you how to make him right now. For this project, you will need construction paper in black and red or any colors you choose. Scissors, tape, three yards of string or yarn, glue stick, straw, pencil, and binder clip. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by cutting out my spider. And I only need half a sheet of paper for my spider. So I'm gonna fold this in half and cut this so that I can save the other half for later. And fold it in half long ways. And what you wanna do is basically make two lumpity bumps. So I'm gonna make one smallish lumpity bump, and then I'm gonna make a large lumpity bump. And it's almost like you're making like a snow, like half a snowman. So then just cut that out. There you go. So the next thing's gonna be the legs. For the legs, you're going to cut eight strips. And these strips, you want them to be about a thumb's width. And you wanna cut eight of these. After you're done cutting eight of these, what you're gonna do is fold them. And I like to fold them up about an inch. So you're gonna fold it up about an inch, then flip it over and fold it down an inch. Flip it over, fold it up an inch. So you're basically doing a very skinny fan fold. Now, when you get to this last bit, you're gonna have a little bit more than an inch and that's okay. You just want it to be like that. And then you're gonna have kind of an accordion folded leg like that. You wanna do all eight like that so that you end up with a whole pile of them, just like that. Now we're gonna cut out the eyes and the diamond pattern. So for that, I'm just gonna cut strip. And for the diamond pattern, I'm gonna make it about half of the body here. So you could just take this here and measure it in the body. Cut it right about there. Fold this in half. And I'm just gonna cut a nice diamond. Now, because this is a, it could be like a black widow, I'm just gonna cut my diamond. Instead of just doing like a regular straight diamond, I'm actually going to sort of swoop it in a just a tiny bit like that and swoop it in just a tiny bit like that. So that when I open it, I have this nice diamond shape. That's gonna go in the center of the body. And now I'm gonna cut the eyes. Now I've got this leftover, so I'm just gonna use this for the leftovers. I've got two pieces together. You wanna to have two pieces together, and I'm just gonna cut some eyes. You can make your eyes any way you want, but I'm gonna make mine kind of like little leaf shaped. So I've got my legs, and I got my eyes, and I got my diamond, and I'm almost ready to put this all together. The only thing I need to do next is the straw. For this step, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut my straw about a thumb's length. So about two inches, just cut one piece and then cut a second one. These are gonna be the things that allow my spider to move. But I am also gonna cut two tiny ones about the width of my thumb. And these are gonna be the handles. All right, let's put this all together. And I might as well put the glue on the side where it's folded so that it goes nice into that fold there. So flip it over so that you put the glue all over where that fold is and then flip it on to your spider and glue it right on in the center there. There's one eye. And a second eye. Now that the face is done, I'm gonna flip them over to do the legs. First thing though, is I'm going to attach my straws. 
Now my straws, I'm gonna be using that tape for. And my straws, I wanna line them up about midway in my spider. So about midway in that body there. But what I wanna make sure is, is that there's space in between the two of them. There you go. Now let's add our legs. So I'm gonna put two legs up at the top here. So I'm gonna put a lot of good glue there. And I'm gonna be using that big extra part. Remember when I folded it up and I said, don't worry if you've got the extra there, that's because we're gonna use that for gluing the leg. So I know that I'm gonna want two legs up at the top and I'm gonna want two legs down at the bottom. So I'm gonna do those. So flip it over once you've got those legs on and then yeah, right in the middle it looks like. So I'm gonna put some glue here and here, here and here. Now, once you're done that, we're gonna to go to the next step, which is to take that fabulous string. You might find that you need to put a little piece of tape on your string just to make it go through easier. So I'm gonna take a little piece of tape and I'm just gonna wrap it around the end here, almost like a shoelace. You go up from the bottom and then down through the second straw, down through the top so that it loops up and over and pull those two ends so that they're together. So as you can see, it goes up and over up top here, goes up and over, and then these two free ends are down at the bottom. I'm gonna take my clip, put my binder clip right at the top here. This is to clip to whatever it is, like a curtain or wherever you're going to be placing it. I'm gonna take the ends here and tie them to these two little pieces of straw. And I'm just gonna push it through and then just tie it. When it's all completed, you're going to have it up and over looped with your clip. And you're gonna see that your string goes through either side here, up and over with your loop. And then as you come down on either side, you've got your string tied with these two tiny little straw pieces so that you can move your spider up and down because all you're doing is you're taking your two pieces of yarn on either side and you just pull them apart and away he crawls. And that's all there is to making your very own creepy crawly Halloween spider. For more great ideas for Halloween and for other times as well, check me out at sophie-world.com.